Hey, what is up, YouTube? Murderous Enemy here coming at you with How to Smith Daedric Armor in Skyrim. Daedric Armor is by far the coolest looking armor in all of Skyrim, and it's pretty easy to uh, smith. The parts are just completely scattered on how you're going to smith this, and you are going to need two main parts. You are going to need ebony ingots, and you are going to need Daedra hearts. And Daedra hearts are probably going to be the most complicated thing to find. Um, there are different videos all over YouTube showing you where to get Daedra hearts, and I'll show you the most reliable way where to get them. Anyway, so this is what ebony ingots look like. They are the most valuable ingot in all of Skyrim, so you might want to be a high level and buy them at a blacksmith, or if you do not want to buy them at a blacksmith, you can come over to this location I, I am showing you on a map, and I cannot even begin to pronounce that name, but basically, once you go there, that mine is filled with ebony ore, and every two ebony ore you get gives you one ebony ingot, and you need a total of probably, I'd go 12 ebony ingot, um, Maybe a little bit more, maybe just calculate how much you need uh, depending on what you want to make. And so for this video, I'm just making the four, the head, the shoulder, or the head, the armor, the boots, and the gloves for my companion here. And he has the Giant's Club as well, which is pretty badass, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool looking. But so this is the uh, location of the Ebony or mine, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry, I can't even begin to pronounce that name, but where to find Daedra Hearts, like I was saying, this is the most complicated part and the most sophisticated part, because there isn't one set location on where Daedra Hearts always are, except for, if you go to Pieces of the Past, which is in Dawnstar, I believe, it is, you'll get a message from a courier saying there that a new museum has opened, a uh, museum, my, I apologize, has opened in Dawnstar, and he wants you to go check it out. So once you do that, and you do that quest, it will take you to a place called Shrine of Maroon's Dragon, or whatever. At the very end of that quest, that will be open for you, and then you can come back at any time, and there will be four different Daedra Lords for you to kill and every time you kill one of them they drop a Daedra heart and so I would imagine these guys reset every I think 48 hours if I had to guess and that's not with you standing here that's with you completely somewhere else and then coming back um, as for the mine for the ebony ore that regenerates um, every month that you wait in Skyrim so that takes a little bit longer so there they always drop some good stuff there the Daedra Lords do um, and there are also two inside and you can also get some ebony ingot here as well and here are the two final Daedra Lords here that drop the Daedra hearts and here we go with the chow taking them out there it is all right and then just taking up the Daedra heart there and then once we have that that is our final piece you also do need um, some uh, leather strips but you can buy those anywhere or you can find them or you can kill a deer and then make the leather into leather strips on a blacksmith as well so there you can see you got some gold ore and some ebony ore as well um, so that this is just an all-around good place to have on your map and always check in every once in a while and get some new Daedra Hearts because they do sell for a pretty penny as well. So we are going to head over to Skyrim, or my bad, we are going to head over to Whiterun where now that we have all of our pieces for our Daedric Armor, we are going to put on our companion here. I'm more of a light armor guy, like I said earlier, so um, that's why I have glass armor. Anyway... So here we are at the blacksmith's uh, forge here, and we have enough to actually smith the armor here. We have the armor, boom, we have the armor, we have the boots, we have the bow, nope, we don't have the bow, we have the gauntlets, my bad, and then we have the helmet. And you can, for, I think it's four extra ebony ingots, make the armor legendary once you have your smithing all the way up. And so, all you have to do, if you want to do what I did and trade it with your companion, I just put it on my companion here, so you go Daedric Armor. And it looks really cool, especially with the Giants Club. We do a nice little pose here at the end, so make sure you check that out. If you thought this video was out helpful at any sort of way, or if you thought that this was somewhat interesting, make sure you drop a like. And feel free to check out any of my other videos. My name's Murderous Enemy. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in my future videos. Thanks.